we're going to finish your notes on networks by talking about minimum spanning trees. This means that we are looking for a tree that connects all of our nodes on the graph in the least possible way um, using the smallest amount of edges that we can to make sure that all the nodes are connected together. For example, you might use this on a fibre broadband cabling network. The cabling company would want to use the minimal amount of cabling to reduce their costs, so they'll want to know how they could connect up all the houses to their fibre network without using too much cabling. So if we've got a network something like this, uh, the blue dots can represent the um, houses that are being connected up uh, for fibre cabling and we could connect those houses to each other in with the weights that are given there and they can represent the metres of cabling that you need to use to connect up the different houses. We obviously don't want to connect every single house to every other house. That would be inefficient. So we are looking for the smallest way that we can connect every house to the same tree of edges. We use something called Kruskal's algorithm to do this. So I'll take you through the steps of um, working this one out. Kruskal's algorithm means that you pick the smallest edge possible as long as it improves your connectivity. So you give yourself a little table to do your working as you go. Starting with the smallest edge, we first of all need to label our nodes, so here they are. Um, and the smallest edge we have is AB, and that gives us a length of 3. The next one is BD, because that's a 4. You can see we've actually got two 4s on our diagram. It doesn't matter which one we pick, because now we're going to go for the next smallest edge on there. We'll choose the other 4, and it improves our connectivity, so we will carry on. At the moment, though, we've got two different portions. We've got to carry on. So the next smallest on there is a 5. We can do either one of those 5s. It doesn't actually matter. And now we have our running total as we go. That's added a 5. That gives us a total of 16 so far. Next one, we are going to add in that 5. That's the next smallest, and it improves our connectivity. Now we've got all the nodes connected to each other with a total weight of 21. At the end of this, you just need to check that every node is connected, that it's possible to get from any node to any other node, um, and there's no breaks in your tree. It's no good having A, B, C and D connected to each other, but E and F out there on their own just connected to each other and nothing else. Okay, so our tree here, the final one, is in red. Okay, here's another example to take you through. So we've got our table, we've labelled our nodes, and we're starting with the smallest one. There are two ones, doesn't matter which one we pick. We're going to go for um, FB on that one, and that's got a weight of 1. Next one is FD with another weight of 1, so that gives us a total of 2 so far. The next one to pick is a 2. Now you can see there are three 2s. Again, it doesn't matter which one you pick. And in fact, you can have different trees come out of it, but it still is a, is a correct answer. Um, so we'll pick this C to D edge first and add in that 2, and it's got a 4. Now we've got another two edges with 2 to choose from. So we're going to pick A, E and add that in. That improves our connectivity. Now we've got a running total of 6. Now, next thing to think about, we're not going to pick that other edge with a 2 because it doesn't improve the connectivity. F and C are already connected into edges that we've marked on, so we're not going to add that one. It's redundant. It would be inefficient to add that one in. So next from there, we're looking for a 3. And again, we've got three threes on there. It doesn't matter which one we pick. In fact, any of those that we pick would finish off our tree. I'm just going to go for E to F, and that adds in a 3 and gives us a total of 9. So some things from that. You don't add an edge if it doesn't improve the connectivity of your tree. And the other thing is, there may be more than one minimum spanning tree possible. And it's still correct. So at the points where you are able to choose between equally weighted edges, it doesn't matter which one you pick. So our final one here... Um, this particular one gave us a total of 9, but as you saw when we were talking through it, there were other options that we could have picked that equally would have given us a 9 too.